Hello, bonjour, Alberta. Did you know that at least 238,000 people speak Francais in Alberta? And those numbers just keep on growing? Oui, oui, c'est vrai, it's true. And thanks to Shaw TV Community Access Programming, we get to reach out to everyone to let you know all about special people, places, events, and activities happening right here in this great province in both English and en français. That's right, mes amis. We begin the first part of our program in English, and then we repeat it en français. So stay with us. Restez à l'écoute. Hello, bonjour, Alberta. Welcome everyone, my name is Anne Boiteau and tonight we are chatting with Emmanuel Giry who is the chair of Calgary Accueil and Benoit Lafay who's also a council member for the, a board member for that same organization. Welcome gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you very much, it's a pleasure to be here and thank you for having us. You're welcome. Emmanuel. Tell us a little bit of uh, where you come from and what brought you here to Calgary. Thank you for ask, asking the question. Uh, yeah, I was born in Belgium, but I'm a French national and I lived uh, most of my life in France. And uh, in 2005, uh, with my uh, wife and uh, kids, we decided to expatriate, to discover the world. And then we I lived for a couple of years in um, South America before coming to Calgary. And what brought us to Calgary is the oil industry, as my wife was an oil and gas executive at the time. And we're, it's been nine years. We arrived in 2006, and uh, we're very happy to be here. We just forgot to go back to France. <laughs> <laughs> and did you speak English, Emmanuel, before you uh, came? I was rusty at that time, but uh, it improved over time. You have to, right? And what about your children? And uh, my children uh, first went to the French Lycée, the Lou Lycée Louis Pasteur, in here in Calgary, and uh, they moved um, one after grade six and the other after grade nine uh, into the, the English system, school system. So they are now out of school, are grown up now. And bilingual, yeah, fully bilingual. Yeah, both are bilingual, absolutely. That's great. What about you, Benoit? So <coughs> I was born in Versailles. Oh, a beautiful place. And um, we decided to move to Canada, initially to Toronto, about for, for two years, and it was 12 years ago. Ooh. So we never came back. <laughs> no way. <laughs> Found that so exciting that we decided to stay. And uh, it was back in 2006, and uh, the job market here was pretty exciting. So we had the opportunity to move from Toronto to Calgary, and we decided to stay. Oh, and did you speak English before you came to Canada? I used to speak a bit of English just uh, professionally, because I had to work with some uh, foreign companies. And, um, but I would say it was a bit hard at the beginning, especially in Toronto, but... Ah, yes. Anarchy, Bigger so. city, eh? Yes. Not as easy maybe to meet uh, francophones as it is here. Actually... Was it? Yeah, I, I would say it, it, was, it was kind of easy. There is a lot of francophones. And uh, actually I was hired by a English company in Toronto because I, was, I spoke French and they sent me to Quebec. Ah, actually yes. Actually to deal with people from Quebec. <laughs> ah, perfect, perfect. And so, Emmanuel, tell us a little bit about Calgary Accueil. Welcome, right? Calgary Welcome Organization. Yeah, absolutely. So, organization. Um, it's um, an association who founded five years ago, well, in 2011. And the idea was to create an association to, to greet, to uh, better integrate French and Francophone newcomers in Calgary because we all had diverse experiences of uh, landing in Calgary and maybe this cultural shock was a little difficult for uh, some of us and we thought maybe we could help newcomers and um, little by little we developed the association um, and um, what we do is um, 
really uh, organize family events, community events, and also business events. Uh, the idea is, al is always to create bonds, uh, to strengthen the French and Francophone community, and uh, yeah, to create content, uh, basically. And, and uh, we're growing. We're, we opened this year our um, website, and uh, we really uh, now have, very, have a very structured uh, board and uh, a lot of projects. Oh, that's good. And uh, Benoit, you're uh, responsible for Le Club d'Affaires, the business club? So Emmanuel and I are in charge of the Club Affair. And the main goal for that Club Affair is to create a community and a network between uh, French companies or francophones within English-speaking or Canadian companies, or for eventually from foreign companies. We also have even some other people coming from other countries who speak French. So some people from Africa or South American countries who speak French or are Francophile uh, attend our events. And is it more of a networking event that you put on or what kind of... Well, uh, I would say it's, it's um, the... the the concept is always the same. Um, most of our events are business lunch luncheons, where we have a meet and greet, uh, I would say, uh, half an hour networking session. And then it's a seated um, uh, luncheon, and uh, we, we have a speaker who uh, speak for 30 to 45 minutes. And we've had a lot, li like you and in your, uh, your TV, TV show, uh, a lot of very interesting speakers from all uh, industries, walks of life. We had the French ambassador last month. Uh, we had the CEO of uh, Total, the oil company. We had a, a city councillor. We have had the president of the Calgary Zoo. A lot of different uh, people and uh, figures of the. It's amazing how many people speak French in this city that absolutely, you absolutely. Work for and all we, we always look for new uh, bilingual people and there are, there are always new people. We didn't didn't really suspect they would uh, speak both languages. So yeah, we try to uh, create events where people can uh, speak French or refresh their French as well. So yes. Yeah. Yes. So you've got business lunches. How often do you do a business lunch like this? Um, I would say about five to six times a year. Okay. And now we are trying also to develop other activities. So on-site visits, um, or uh, we are also developing events with other uh, organizations in order to create more networking. Ah, oh, okay. And, and uh, oh, oh, sorry, sorry uh, I would like to, to add yeah. something. Um, the, the French, um, there's no consulate, French consulate in Calgary. Uh, there, there is no uh, trade commission, uh, so representatives of the French government in Calgary. And so we uh, also act as a hub between uh, the, the French authorities and the Albertan authorities or the Francophone French community here in Calgary. So we meet or are in contact with a lot of officials from ah, the, the French okay. administration and also the Alberta administration. Okay, so you get these people talking as well. That's correct. Ah, that's good. And what about your family events? What kind of events do you put on? What kind of things do? Oh, we do. Uh, we try to do um, a lot of different types of, of events. Some of them are more family oriented. So we have a skating um, parties. We propose uh, hiking trips in the Rockies. Yes, or I'm sure those are really popular, right? Yeah, or cross country days. Oh, yes. That type of thing. Which is uh, okay because you work from uh, um, uh, online mostly. You don't have an office where people can drop in. Yeah, and this is correct. The, the association see, right? is run by volunteers. We're all okay. volunteers, uh, but it's not really an issue because we rent venues or uh, when we go for outdoor activities, uh, we don't have to really rent anything. So. 
basically all our, our activities are run completely at cost. So some of them are free, uh, others when we have expenses, we really pass on these expenses, but we don't make any profit. The idea is really to uh, offer um, people an experience where they can mingle and really connect with other French and Francophone. Okay. So you don't require any funding either. Do you? Oh, we are always are welcome. Uh, we have a little bit of um, yeah expenses. We have a website. We have um, uh, yeah we have to, to pay for a few expenses. So sponsorship is always welcome. Okay. And I would say our revenues are mostly from sponsorship or um, membership. membership. Absolutely. As Absolutely. well. Mm -hmm. And you were saying you've got uh, as far as members are concerned, paying members who have a membership card, about 50 of them, That's but right. about 50 families, 50 right? 50 families, yes. 50 families, but uh, sometimes uh, oh, uh, 400 our, Yeah, members our reach is much, or? much bigger than that because I would say we touch and uh, uh, in our network, we have approximately 400 to 500 families. So a lot of people, and we always try to attract new members. And yes. it's, it's basically, if you just want to be on our distribution list, it's completely free. And uh, then you're informed of our upcoming events. And so um, we also welcome volunteers, people who want to, yes, to, to dedicate a little bit of their time to help us work on our website, uh, organize events, uh, organize clubs. We have plenty of ideas of uh, sports clubs, um, oh, yes. leisure clubs and this type of uh, activities. So all volunteers are welcome to Calgary Academy. That's really nice. And uh, so what's coming up? What sort of events have you got uh, coming up now? Okay, you want to speak to that, um, um, Benoit? So we have, um, we've, we ha we'll have an event uh, early December with the Club Affair. We're also organizing, I, I can't say much about the date right now, but uh, on-site visit pretty soon. On-site? Uh, For With the business club. So yeah. companies? You're yes. will be visiting companies? Yes. Oh, um, interesting. And, uh, That's very different. Yeah, so we try now because uh, we are pre pretty young still. So now we try to develop a bit more activities with that we can propose to the either the club affair or in terms of family events. Um, we also will also have um, a party at the beginning of January. Celebrate uh, the new year. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, we uh, if you go on our website calgaryaccueil.ca. Uh, there is also uh, a trip to Millerville's Farmer's Market ah. organized. For coming up soon? Yes, at the end of the month. And it's okay. for anybody who wants to join on do s or do some carpooling. And uh, we also try now also to develop more uh, cultural event uh, that will take place in the new year. Yeah. Ah. So as we said, we have um, uh, really a project to um, organize an event around Le Petit Prince, oh, yes. uh, which is uh, produced by the Calgary Theatre that will in take January. place in January, February. So we'll have a um, uh, get together uh, and, and an activity around this, uh, this play. And there's also, I think you forgot, in January we also have um, a skating afternoon, skating, yeah. skating party, as we generally do in, in the new year. Okay, and that occurs downtown or? No, prob generally that one we do in Stanley Park. Uh, oh, okay. Well, the, the community center was affected by the flood, oh, so yes. we, we uh, did it elsewhere, but I think this year we'll be back in Stanley Park. Oh, well. And we, have we also have the plan to do a cross country Ski day event, event uh, okay. between Christmas and New Year's Eve. Those are all wonderful things. Thank you very much for being with us tonight. You're very welcome. Everyone out there, please stay with us. We continue en français.